Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Donna here. Uh, today we're going to be working on another trial of a flower wreath. I have to be very honest with you. I am not satisfied with the first one I made. Basically because of the raveling. That is not acceptable. And I'm not sure why it raveled so much. I know that the Deco uh, Poly Burlap will ravel. Um, and I know that I had to change the uh, blade in my cutter part way through, but I'm not sure what the issue is uh, with the cutter. Even today I tried to cut regular mesh and it didn't want to, and that's a new blade that I put in the other day. <clears throat> and they're titanium blades, so they certainly shouldn't be getting dull like that. At any rate, um, I'm going to try a different technique this time one that I have seen on Julie's Wreath Boutique uh, and it did not seem to have nearly as much fraying. However, one of the things that she does is that she uses a wood burning tool to cut the mesh. So guess what I got? A wood burning tool. Now I did not want to invest in something like this unless I knew I was going to be using it. Um, this is the tip that is on it. If you can see, oops, it has like a, just a little knife point, basically. Okay. Um, and the reason I tried it, I wanted to try it to see if it was the cutting that was making it gravel so much, or if it was me, and it could be a combination of both. Uh, but at any rate, this one was called a wood burning tool for beginners, and I got it on Amazon, and it was just ten dollars. So for $10, I'm going to give it a try. And I tell you what, I did cut the rest of the mesh. I'm using the same mesh that I used before because I'm still trying it. But I cut the mesh. It cut like butter with this. Um, it gets extremely hot. It is off now and unplugged. But it gets extremely hot and smokes. And, and actually, I had a fan going while I was using it because it, sometimes the smell is a little... Um, overpowering but let me show you a piece of mesh that has been cut with the wood burner on both sides this one probably as you can see it really seems to have a more solid edge on it now so we're gonna see if this works along with a different technique that she does and I can't remember the exact words but it's sort of like a backwards technique, a back up technique, uh, and I'll show you as I get going. So I'm going to stop talking and take you down to the table, and let's see if we can try one of these wreaths again. I will tell you, I'm going to use the same center that I used on the previous wreath because I don't like that wreath and I'm going to take it apart. Um, so anyway, we'll be back in just a minute and we'll try a new flower wreath. Be back. Okay, so here we are back. Uh, this is a 10 inch frame, just like we did before. Uh, 10 inch box wire frame. I got this at craftoutlet.com. Um, you can't buy these in any of the local stores that I have seen. So you really have to order it online. There's several places that have it. I'm going to be using the yellow mesh and what they call the natural mesh along with some green of a few pieces of green regular deco mesh and that's because i want to put leaves on this and i don't have any green poly burlap so we're going to just for the trial you know we never know oh we're going to use some of this green uh, deco mesh now the deco mesh i cut at 11 well, maybe a little more than 11 because i wanted it as julie says to stick out further the other thing that we're going to be using are full-size pipe cleaners. So, uh, as I mentioned the last time, I thought that the half pipe cleaners were a little difficult for me to maneuver. So I'm going to try this one instead. So we're going to start by putting a leaf on each one of these crossbars. There's five. And the way that that is done let me see if I can just bring you in just a little bit. The way that that is done is to go 
these first two, I'm on one side of that crossbar here and I'm coming out on the other side. Okay? Just like that. Now I'm going to take this bottom one and I'm just going to wrap it around the bottom. wire and that way it can't go anywhere. We'll do it again. Using the first two, come up, go in on one side, out on the other side. Go around the bottom wire with the outside one. And there you go. So uh, let's, I might as well put them all on while I'm doing it. that. I, it's not the way she does it, but practice makes perfect, you know. <laughs> around, and just around this wire here, and it locks it in place. Around, around this wire. and it locks it in place. One more. Around. Around this bottom wire and up and there you go. <coughs> okay, so there you go. Let me bring you back out again. Whoops, wrong way. So you get an idea. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is to make the leaves and the leaves are done with the same fold that we do the petals. The curl is up. I'm going to go into the middle. And I'm going to go into the middle and I'm just going to scrunch up the, the two pieces. I turn them over and then I go like turn it in half. Now I'm just going to look to see that they're kind of the same and they are. So now I'm just going to put that on this one and give it one good twist. Let's do that again. Okay, next one, in the middle, in the middle, scoot them up, turn it sideways, make sure you got these facing the right direction. And the reason these are 11 is because I want them to stick out a little bit past the, um, the leaves that we're going to put on. Okay, so there you have it, and you have your, the leaves all the way around. This is a pretty deco mesh. It has some um, iridescent shiny stuff in it, so I think it will look nice. Okay, and I'm going to start with the natural, 
and then go to the yellow. So we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to come in in the middle, come in in the middle, move it up, and I'm going to put it right on top of this leaf and give it one good twist. Now I'm going to come in with the gold and I'm going to do one, two, up, and I'm coming right in on top of this brown one. And actually, I like putting them together. And now I'm going to give it a couple of good twists. Okay, now we're going to do the next one. Okay, now after you've got the two pieces put on here, uh, take these twist ties and you're going to go up through the top of the rings and give it a twist on the back. Pulling it a little bit. And that will give a little bit of dimension. If you see, see how it lifted it up a little bit? All right, so we're going to go on to the next one. We're starting with the beige. Middle. Middle. Make my bow tie. Put the bow tie in. Give it a good twist. Take the yellow, corner to corner, make the bow tie, bow tie, go in on top of the brown, give it a good twist. Now we're going to take these, go down underneath. and give it a good twist underneath. And that gives us a little lift. Now, does anybody notice anything here? I don't see any fraying. I mean, that's amazing. It's, ama it's the same product that I was using the other day. Okay, so the, what she does now is called backwards. <clears throat> this leaf wants to get all messed up. Okay, I've got this one done and this one done on the bottom. So now I'm going to do one in the middle in between them. So I'm going to go to the next. This is four, three, two, and there's one. So I'm doing four, I'm doing three and two. And I'm putting the pipe cleaner under those two. Okay? I will do the same thing we were doing before. Scrunch it up. Get my bow tie. Put it in. Give me a good twist. Take my yellow corner to corner, scrunch it up, my bow tie, put it on top of the beige, give it a good twist, and I'm going down underneath. And give it a twist underneath. Now 
Now you see what we did? We did a bottom, a bottom, and then a middle. So now we're going to go back and we're going to do the next bottom. Okay, got the beige. Well, I think, folks, that that wood burner is the secret. One more gizmo to invest in if you're going to do these kind of wreaths. Now, I can't imagine, you are going to get some fraying. You can't eliminate it totally but it is nothing compared to the other. Okay, so now I have this bottom one done and the previous bottom one done. So now I'm gonna do the middle one again here, just like we did before. And I'm gonna come in. The second and third. corner to corner, scrunch it up, make my bow tie, lay it in, the yellow, Okay, so now, okay, we've got the bottom bottom, then we got a middle, a middle. So now I'm going to put one in the middle of that on the top row. And this is why it's called the backwards, because you kind of work back and forwards, and it keeps you from laying your arm on uh, the product the whole time you're doing it. And I'm going to do the same thing up here that I did at the bottom. I put one around that top row so that it can't go anywhere. And I didn't bring those other ones through. I will go back and do that. Give it a twist in the back. And it lifts up your leaves a little bit. And this one is the one I didn't bring through, so I will do that right now. So this side here, you can see, is done all the way up to the top. So now we're going to go back and we're going to start working on the next of the leaves. We'll start with the brown. And make the bow tie. Down on the leaf. One good turn. Get the yellow. On top of the 
of the brown. One good turn. Two good turns. <laughs> and then we'll go down underneath. Give it a little bit of a tug, not too much. We don't want it to stand right up straight. Okay, now I have this one done in the middle and I have this one done in the middle. So now I'm going to do another one in the top. See how that's going back and forth? Oops, I didn't put my pipe cleaner in. Well, get over there. Okay. And I believe it takes 15 leaves of each in order to complete this. So from one roll, you should be able to get two wreaths. Now I would have taken this and cut my piece of plastic um, before I started to um, go so that it would be ready for the middle. But um, as I said, I'm going to use that same middle. I'm loving this. Now I am I am impressed with this. This is very well shaped and it has little or no raveling. So now I've got it done all the way up to the top over here. I'm going back and do one in the middle here. Oops, gotta put the pipe cleaner in first, Donna. I'm not doing that one. Second and third. It is, and of course you need to use the full length pipe cleaners for this because you're putting three and four petals on one pipe cleaner, but it is a whole lot easier to, for me anyway. You know, my hands are 74 years old and there's a bit of arthritis in them. down in give us a little dimension here Okay, now I'm going to do the last of the leaves. Almost forgot the gold one. 
or orange or yellow. <laughs> I guess it's yellow. I called it every color. Okay, so now I have this one done on the bottom, this one done on the bottom. I need one here in the middle. Okay, so I have this one done in the middle, this one done in the middle, and I need to put one on this crossbar. There's a little piece of fray on this one. That's the first one I've seen. I'll just get rid of it. Alright, so now I need a middle one here, a middle one here, and then the two more in the top. So I'll finish that up and I'll be back when I've got them all on. Be right back. Well guys, here it is. And I have to tell you, I'm impressed. I really am. It has uh, got a beautiful shape to it. The real only real raveling I see is actually on the deco mesh. But the flower looks so pretty. And I was actually able to maneuver those petals a little bit to spread them out so they don't overlap each other without getting more than the two or three little ravel areas. And the ribbon center is the same center I used on the last wreath and if you want to see how it's made I did show you the last time I made this flower how to make that ribbon center but around the side you can see it has dimension I do like the idea of the leaves it's 
so I'm happy with this and I do think the secret as far as I'm concerned one in the technique this was an excellent technique and secondly in using the wood burner um, but that's good I've tried it and I'm going to set it aside for a little bit because I'm going to be working on a fall wreath and I think it will be a bubble wreath and that'll be our next video coming up before long so stay tuned so happy you stopped by here today thanks so much and thanks so much for all my new subscribers I love having you stop by and seeing what kind of trouble I can get into uh, it's fun to play around and don't ever feel like you need to stay in a box step outside sometimes step outside your comfort zone you might find out something came out pretty good I think this one did so that's all I have for now I'll talk with you later see ya everybody play nice now